Celestian Sacrosanct Evelyn stands as a symbol of Imperium's unyielding strength amidst Abaddon XIII and Black Crusade. As Cadea braces for battle, Evelyn of the Order of the Sacred Rose embarks on a mission that plunges her into a deadly pursuit on the Shrine World of Arison VIII. With treachery and ancient evils lurking, will she fulfill her sacred duty or face a fate that endangers the Imperium itself? Stay tuned to see this incredible character brought to life, because today we are going to build this miniature. Let's take a look at the box. We have some options for the head here, and then they advertise the book, the Diamond Breaker, that the character comes from. Let's take a look what's inside of the box. So we have a really nice sprue, some assembly instructions over here, and the sprue looks amazing. It is really, really detailed. And there is even a demon's head over here. That looks pretty cool. We start with bits 1, 2, and 3. And bit number 1 is the back of the torso. This is bit number one, and this is bit number two, something looking like a flamer. Bits one and two are cleaned up. Let's take a look how they should be assembled together. Should be something like this. You see there is a lock over here, which is perfectly fitting this part. And that is how they should be fitting together. I'm gonna glue this. There we go. This is how it looks. Very, very flimsy. And now we go for the bit number three. This is bit three. Very easy to find. It is a sword with the fleur de lis flame. All right. This is the sword. Very, very flimsy looking sword. Let's see how we can assemble it. So this is the position. It should be overlapping with the another hand over here, so it should be glued over here. Let's try to make it happen. You need to put some glue here and over here. Really, really, really carefully. Should be assembled like that. And this is our right hand in place. As you can see, it's also very flimsy. But there is a very small lock in this area that puts this arm into place. And now we are prepared to add front part of the torso number 4. This is bit number 4. The front bit of the torso is cleaned up. Let's see how it should be assembled here. Should be somewhat like this. Let's glue it. I'm gonna put some glue here. And we have our torso assembled. This is how it looks so far. Very nice. We move to leg number seven with uh, bit number eight on top of it. This is leg number seven. And this is bit number eight. Bits seven and eight are cleaned up. And they should be combined together somewhat like this. You see there is a lock over here. So that is how it should be like this. Very easy to assemble. I'm gonna put some glue. Here we go. And now to bits 5 and 6. This is bit number 5 and this is bit number 6. Bits 5 and 6 are prepared. They should be combined together like this. I'm gonna glue this. This is our leg. And these two bits are supposed to be combined together. There is also a lock over here. This is how it should look like. I'm gonna glue it. So you can see there is lock over here. Also a very flimsy one. Note how this also has a small lock. Here we go. If you forgot to put some glue on the cape, you can always do it a bit later. 
you can just do it like this and this is gonna be fine the glue will melt the bits of the cape and uh, there will be no hole anywhere so it's gonna be it's gonna be fine anyways uh, this is the bottom of the Evelyn we move forward they tell us to assemble the top and the bottom let's see how they should be put together should be something like this make sure to give the bottom some time to glue itself before you try to attach it to the top and I will glue it now it's a bit easier to do it this way here we go this is our Evelyn so far moving forward we need to give her backpack 12 and a shield number 9 let's go for the backpack 12 first this is backpack number 12 backpack number 12 is cleaned up let's see how it should sit on the mini it should be somewhere here let's glue it go in to put some glue here should be sitting here like this looking nice and now the shield number nine this is our shield nine this is our shield number nine let's see where it should be sitting it should be sitting over here like this this is how it should be it should be touching both this hole this is the main lock over here and this arm there we go this is how it should be very very neat look over here note that you might want to add this shield after you paint it because otherwise it might be challenging to paint some other parts of the cape and this leg i myself don't care that much but for those of you who would like to have everything perfectly painted maybe this shield is something for partial assembly moving forward we should select between the heads 10 bare head kinda and 11 in a helmet this is the one that is bare head 10 and this is the one that is helmeted we're gonna go with the helmeted because safety first this is our head it is really tiny and it should be sitting over here like this looking cool gonna glue this this is our head now we need to build a fancy base so it starts with 13 and then we have a head 14 and 15 let's start with the head 14 and 15 this is a demon head 14 and this is the other part of the demon head 15 the demon head beats are cleaned up they should be assembled somewhat like this and you can see there is a hole for her for her foot let's glue it i'm gonna put some glue here this is our dead demon head looking nice and now for the base 13 this is number 13 very easy to find okay our base is kind of cleaned up let's see how the head of a demon should be sitting here there is some sort of a hole over here and uh, you can say that this is for demon because there is another hole over here that goes into this bump so it should be something like this i'm gonna put some glue here this is our demon head in place and our hero should be standing like this so there are two holes on the base for her feet one of them is over here and another one is on the demon's head She's very very neat i'm gonna try to place her exactly like she should be standing and this is our positioning very very cool now we need to put this base on 
a base. This is our 50 millimeter base. We check if it has no defects. It doesn't. And uh, we gonna put the mini on the base. Dropping the mini in a way that ha her head is roughly in the middle of the base. This is our mini so far, looking incredibly cool. Moving forward, we have a cherub here with some wings and some scroll. Let's start with the cherub itself, 16. This is beat number 16. And this is the scrolls and the other bit of the cherub, number 17. This is our tiny cherub bit. And it should be assembled together with this part. It should be sitting together like this. Very, very small bits. So there is a lock over here, as you can see. I'm gonna put some glue here. This is our cherub. And then there are some wings. Number 18. This is number 18, the cherub wings. Actually, this is number 18, the chair of wings. And the previous one was the number 19 that we're gonna use later. These are the tiny wings for the cherub. Let's take a look. So there, there are two locks here. They're extremely tiny. One of them is this one, the round one. And another one is this one. I'm gonna put some glue over here. Hopefully that is gonna be enough. And now I need to combine these two bits together. Okay, it was a little bit tricky, but our cherub finally have some wings. Look at this. Look at this tiny fella flying on some wings over here. If we look at the instructions, we have just assembled cherub number three. And bit number three is supposed to go over here. So you can see there are some locks here. This one and this one. And they should be sitting somewhere over here. Here we go, like this. I'm gonna put some glue. And we'll try to make this flimsy bits fit where they should be. So it works surprisingly well. And this is our cherub number three, looking really, really disturbing and cool at the same time. And now to the cherub number four. We need 21 and 20. This is bit 20 and this is bit 21. Bits 20 and 21 are cleaned up. They are very, very, very small and they should be combined together like this. There we go. There is a lock over here too. This hole is a lock effectively. I'm gonna glue it. This is the back. And we also have some wings 19 over here. These are the wings that we almost used on the wrong cherub on the previous one. And let's see how these wings are supposed to be assembled. So there is a lock over here, this tiny rectangular lock should be sitting somewhat like this. I'm gonna put some glue here and try to glue it. Tiny amount of glue as little as humanly possible. And this is our our second cherub. Now it only misses a head, which is gonna be bit number 22. This is bit 22. This is the bit 22. We can see there is a tiny head over here, which is cybernetically enhanced, and it should be sitting somewhere here. So it should be something like this. Let's try so glue it for well, this cherub. It is incredibly small, guys. Incredibly small. Make sure you try to dry fit it before you actually glue it. This is our second cherub. As you can see, it's tiny. <laughs> and it also has two locks over here. This one and this one. They should go here and here. And let's try to make this cherub work too. I'm gonna put some glue here and I'm gonna put some glue here. And now let's try to make it 
seats where it should sit. So this is the first lock over here and the second lock over here. There we go. Wow, look at this. Look at this, my friends. Let's really quickly double check if we have done everything. We have assembled all these parts together. Then we put bit four. Both legs were assembled. Then we combined the legs and the torso. The backpack, the shields, the heads, the helmets it had. Then the demon head and the base puts all together. The first cherub, second cherub. And all of them are put on the base. And this is our end result. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we got. This is what we got in the end. And this is our miniature, my friends. This is the mini that we have assembled. It is really, really, really cool looking. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. So this mini took me almost an hour to assemble due to a lot of really small details. It's not a lot of bits, but these cherubs took a lot of time. This mini is really fun to assemble. I would give it 4 out of 5 for the assembly part, for the fun of the assembly. And I will give it um, 3 out of 5 for the easy to assemble part, because the mini is very flimsy, it has a lot of really tiny details, and unless you actually know how to do this, and you actually are assembling Sisters of Battle every day or every other day, it's gonna be tricky to do the proper assembly of this mini took a lot of effort to glue together small bits here and there. Also note that this mini would require partial assembly because of this shield. It covers a bit of the mini. Also, you might be challenged to paint some bits of the demon head. So maybe the demon head should be assembled separately too. You paint the mini first without a shield. Then you paint a shield. You combine it together. And then you put this on the base with the demon head, which should be painted separately. The cherubs are really tricky to work with. Put as little glue as you can to assemble them. Otherwise, it's going to be a mess. But uh, if you manage to do that, they actually look quite cool and scary at the same time. Let's take a look at how it compares to other minis. So this is our Space Marine Sergeant from Combat Patrol issue number 5. As you can see, Space Marines are much larger than baseline humans, which Sisters of Battle normally are. Sisters of Battle more on the whimsical and flimsy side of things here. But other than that, this is a really cool mini. It is a new mini. It was released in 2024. And I think this is one of the most beautiful minis for the whole Sisters of Battle range. I'm gonna keep it. And this is gonna be a centerpiece of my nascent Sisters of Battle army. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you think of this mini. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It will really help me to move forward. And I will see you guys in the next one. Max is out. Take care. Bye.